In this tutorial video, we're going to showcase our Cinemachine extension. This extension gives Cinemachine the autofocus ability from our Auto Depth of Field tool. This is great when you want to utilize autofocus in gameplay elements such as Cinemachine's free look setup or the new character controllers from Unity. You can also use it in cinematic scenes like when utilizing Timeline. A reminder that from HDRP 12.0 onwards, you'll be able to use the Unity HD camera to keyframe focus points in Timeline. This would enable you to blend between three different focus methods, keyframing, Cinemachine targets, and the Auto Depth of Field component. Here in Unity 20.3 HDRP, we have the timeline of the demo scene open at the second beat. We've added the Auto Depth of Field component to Cinematic Physical Camera B and set the Cinemachine Volume Settings Focus Tracking to None. We also have the third beat that is unchanged as this already showcases a focus pull from one camera to the other. This is the target based focus tracking method set in Cinemachine. Let's start by installing the Cinemachine extension package. Head to your project folder and under Hibiki Entertainment, Auto Depth of Field, Scripts. Load and install the Cinemachine extension package. Once this is done, we can head back to the timeline and check our start and end virtual cameras in Beat 2. Head to the bottom of both virtual camera shots. We can now add our extension by selecting the Add Extensions dropdown and add the Auto Depth of Field Cinemachine extension. When this is done, you'll see a small component with a Transfer DOF control checkbox that's enabled. Auto Depth of Field is now running through the Cinemachine framework and you can work between both tools. Please note that Cinemachine takes certain priorities over Auto Depth of Field, like focal length control. This is intended to keep creative flexibility. It's not just timeline that Cinemachine is used. So let's look at the new First Person Character Controller Starter Asset from Unity, available for free on the Unity Asset Store, and apply Auto Depth of Field to that too. This controller uses a Cinemachine setup, so let's add the Auto Depth of Field component and Cinemachine extension to the camera and virtual camera. Once done, we can set our preset, hit play. And now we're running a first person controller based on Cinemachine while also running the Auto Depth of Field. That's all for this video on the Auto Depth of Field Cinemachine extension from the Auto Depth of Field component for Unity. Let us know your thoughts and feedback on our Discord channel where you can join like minded developers. Until next time.